Uh, for the Grasshopper course members, uh, this week I have uh, added this definition, which you can make this to fabricate uh, uh, based on a curve attractor on a surface. You can see that these are the curve attractors, and the base surface is a simply uh, a plane, uh, flat plane. And then, uh, by the definition, you can make those sections and put them on the ground, and also change the size of those uh, the distance between those, you can see that I can change this and increase or decrease that. That's uh, not bad for nesting. And you can also uh, double click on this to make a 3D detail of this and you can see that how it looks. You can increase the number of the sections, maybe 30 sections will give you more details and you can see that the results uh, for the 3D model is what it means. You can also switch back to the 2D view and change the curve attractors by this. So I'm uh, you can download this definition from the Grasshopper course section and change those curves by this. You can also add your curves. You can add additional curves if you want uh, to produce new results. And you can simply uh, make a copy of this and add this to the curve. So I have just uh, put two curves for that. You can add more additional curves to that. So if you want a curve attractor, you can simply just copy this. And by the shift key, you can add the curve to this curve section. And now, uh, but uh, I want to make this a little bit faster. So I'm going to disable this and change the location of the curve. You can see that I can change this. Okay, let's just put this a little bit down and a little bit here. That's it. And then we can just simply enable this curve again. So we have new results. Okay, so you can see that those sections are updated again, and so has the sections. So now we can again change that. Uh, you can also change and play with the graphs. So this will also change the results because you can just uh, give this more uh, based on the busy distribution or a sign. If you just increase the sign, you can see that those patterns are increasing. We have talked about this, so I have just made this definition so you can understand more about fabrication uh, and fabricating those sections and put them on the ground and this number and the numbers. You can also check out the tags, uh, how you can use the tags to produce those tags and uh, change the location. So basically this definition can help you to understand this and you can also Let's just disable this, turn this on. You can see that you can also change the size of the plane. Uh, so let's just enable this again. And you can see that this will update uh, on a more square thing. And you can see that maybe by increasing the distance between those sections, we can just uh, prepare them for nesting. So let's just increase that. You can see that those sections will just be on the sheet. You can also change the number of the sheets, uh, the number you want on the sheet. You can see that I can decrease that to 8, so I have to increase the distance of the sheet Y and shift I, uh, sh uh, sheet X. So you can see that I can increase that and have uh, 3, 6, and 7 rows. So this is going to give you the number of rows, and you can simply check out this Example for more exercise, and you can check step by step what I have done. So this week, uh, this definition can help you to produce uh, a curve attractor and make the sections, put them on the ground, and get ready for fabricating that, and finally produce a 3D model, uh, something similar to this, and you can make that for a wood, or you can just get the output from here. Let's just bake this. So on the extrusion. You can see that you can have this in Rhino and have the results. Let's just put that into the render section. So uh, this is two materials, so I guess that's on it. So you can see how easy it is to use this definition to produce sections for fabrication and so on. Also ask your questions in the support page. So go to the Grasshopper course and click on the support page and you can also ask your questions and attach your files and make a zip file for that and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time.